ass when the bass hit. Dad on a spaceship. Me and all my This is Race for Tuning. Bought this off of Steam about a week ago now, I guess. Yeah, I guess it's been a week. And uh, I took a chance on it, and it's actually a pretty fun game, considering I love car games. So we're going to go through, I'm going to show you guys my car, what I've done to it, and uh, then we're going to go take a look at the, actually, in, the in-game shop, which is actually laid out pretty cool. So first of all, alright, so here's my car. It is a Skyline. Uh, so far, I've just lowered it. Uh, cambered the wheels a little bit uh, new uh, side skirts front and back bumper which I had to actually paint those when I got them on as well as the uh, the spoiler back here I had to paint that too to match the car I think my door door kind of looks like it may be off Maybe not, I don't know. Maybe the doors, doors kind of do look like an off color. That one does anyway. I don't know, but anyway. Uh, yeah, so we've lowered it. Uh, I actually went under here and ended up taking off all the uh, mud flaps. As you can see, the blue strip down there, we have some underglow on this baby. We got the engine upgraded a little bit, not much. Uh, we got some... I think I ended up, I had red headlights in this car at first because I was going with a totally different look. And then I ended up switching and putting some uh, some blue ones in. So we got blue ones now. Did some racing last night. That's why I got a few NOS bottles missing. So uh, every day you actually get 10 NOS bottles for free. And uh, once we head over to the shop, you'll see you can actually purchase some NOS bottles too. Those are actually bigger, a little bit bigger capacity, but alright, so let's uh, let's get on the computer and we'll head over to the tuning shop, take a look at the shop. Alright, so here we are at the tuning shop. So when you first spawn here, you'll have your car right here, the one, whichever car you pick. If you've got more than one car, I just have one right now. I've been dumping all my money into pretty much. Uh, so, your car will appear right here. You can go in there in the shop and you can get parts and bring them in here and attach them and see if uh, they look right. See if you want to actually get them before you purchase them. <clears throat> so that's what this is for. So over here looks like a paint booth, but you can't really, it's not functional. You can't really open it or anything. And this part is where the good stuff is. This is the shop. It's another little uh, part in there but this is the main part in here so we'll start at the very beginning uh, you got a uh, this is like a speed sensor or something that you can install in the car it it's installs on the dashboard I believe over here you've got uh, headlights you got different color headlights uh, you got your blue your uh, neon you got your white, your red, green, all that. Then you got the strips up here like I was showing you underneath my car. I got the blue ones. So you have to buy two of those, put them on each side. And whatever car you select, whatever car's in there is the parts, uh, like the body parts that will appear for you. Besides uh, stuff like this and the wheels and seats, all of that will be here no matter what car you choose. But as you can see, these are all the original body parts uh, for the uh, for the skyline original glass panels original mirrors lights uh, original muffler blinker or not blinkers but uh, wipers all the original parts over here you have different horns I believe the these purple ones are like the premium ones or something so they go for a little bit more but you have two different sets of horns right here and I also believe any of these horns are compatible with any of the cars, like most of the parts here. Up here, I don't use these much, but these are roof scoops, and they actually help for uh, aerodynamics. So they actually help your car out. They will, they will actually give your car some aerodynamics in your stats. So you've got uh, about 12 different ones, it looks like, of these to choose from. 
pretty sure all these are compatible on all the vehicles as well. Now right here you've got two different lines of spoilers. You got some that are painted white, you got some that are painted black. So there's a very simple one. Different prices uh, usually range up to about five hundred dollars, four twenty to five hundred dollars. She got a different one, the more sportier ones. Well, wow, that's insane. So yeah, that's the spoilers. If you go to this side, you've got your NOS module, which you'll have to have installed in your car in the very beginning of the game in order to hook up your NOS. And right here, you've got these bottles are a little bit fatter than the uh, free bottles that you get. Over here, you've got your upgrade kits, which cost a lot to uh, upgrade. Whatever engine that your car that you bought at the very beginning actually comes with. So here's the different engines. So you'll use these upgrade kits to upgrade whatever engine you want. Um, you got different engines right here. Uh, I believe these gold ones, I believe this one's the uh, Skyline engine. And then that one and that one are a tiny bit below that one. And then all these are a little bit lower power engines like the one that the Honda's got in it and the Prelude and whatever. So... Over here you got steer wheels. There's not many to choose from, but I usually go with that one right there. It's pretty simple. So you got seven different steering wheels you can choose from. Now over here, uh, you got different racing style seats. You got solid colors. You got the uh, black and colored. You got the colored and black. And then you got the colored and like white, which those are actually pretty cool. I like those. And these are the seats that will come in any car that you buy. These are the original seats. These are so, these are terrible. So you'll want to take those out immediately and you can actually sell those too. Anything you take out of your car, pretty much you can sell. Uh, so they'll buy back and you can sell it. So you can earn some money doing that as well. Alright, so this is uh, the inside where you can get your, this is a little bit brighter in here, you can actually get your wheels and tires in here. Looks like we got some fatter tires over here. Um, different sizes, These you'll need uh, different size tires for the different size wheels. I believe all the wheels are compatible with any of the cars, you just make sure you get the right size uh, tires for those wheels. These are the 15s, I believe. Um, Pretty decent wheels. This is the uh, stock size wheel that the car will come with. These are the 17s. I love these blue ones right here. Those are sick. These over here are the 19s, which I'm actually rocking these on the Skyline. I got the 19s on there. These are your 20s. A little bit bigger than the 19s. A little too much if you ask me. But uh, some of these are pretty cool. The yellow ones aren't bad. These are also 20s. All of these are 20s. These are your premium 20s. So I don't know. I guess if you want to do like a dub edition type shit or something. Some of these are actually pretty sick. Those are sick. I like those. And these are all the 20 premium wheels. So you got your wheels. You got your tires. You got your different engines and your engine upgrades, your NOS, you got all your front and uh, rear bumpers, different sets you can choose from, your spoilers, your scoops, your original parts, you got your horns back there, your neon, different lights, your little speed detector thing, steering wheels. And I can only imagine what else they're going to add because uh, hopefully they do exp expand the shop some. I mean, there's plenty more room in here for maybe more wheels and definitely some different tires, like maybe some slicks or something. But yeah, so far this game uh, is pretty sick. I mean, and it's an online game, so <clears throat> you got other people, you know, grinding and trying to build their car up and 
if you just if you just get your car to a certain point where you can win a few races in a row, like win two or three races in a row, the money your money will start coming up quick. So you can't just you know it's not one of them games you can give up on. You just got to keep uh, winning and winning, and even if you don't win, you lose the race, you still get a little a little chunk of change every time. All right, yeah. So that is race for tuning. You can get it for like I believe five bucks, maybe a little under five bucks on the Steam store. Alright, so that is the end of this video. I'm gonna go ahead and shut it off here. Hope you guys enjoyed the little shop tour along with uh what kind of car I'm rocking and a little bit of what I've done to it so far. So yeah, uh see you guys in the next one. Yeah.